Ugh. Shelly Rocks here. Welcome back to uh. Dawn of Man. I'm beginning to wonder why I started doing this intro. Ugh. <laughs> it seems to be on every video. Right, so what are we doing now? Well, we've, got, we've got 24 people. We want to try and get to 30 in this video. We've got 31 uh, meat, uh, 13 fish, and we've got our little, little granny over here. Um, as... Um, a few of you uh, have uh, commented it's a good idea to uh, get rid of the wooden spears. I think that was kill the sensors and Nessun, Nessun uh, Tosa. So I've stopped the I've stopped the production of wooden spears and wooden harpoons, and we are going to uh, hopefully get some more food carried in. So we've got a few skins on there that need uh, carrying in there. Come, child. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you leaving that there? Look, come on! You're making the lever. Is anyone else gonna carry this stuff? Ooh, is that my dogs over there? I think it is dogs. Let me just go and <laughs> let me go and just double check. Yeah, it is. It's my doggos. We're okay. Um, we are getting a lot of stuff carried over now. We've got seven hides. Also, I was interested about uh, Doncho Donchev. Donchev had said the uh, the bear had actually must have eaten some of the meat of the uh, mammoth that was killed. I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. I wondered where the meat had all gone. Now, I think it might be an idea as well. Uh, I'm about to build up my little little base a little bit. Uh, G Roy Lincoln's said about. Um, uploading the mammoth in winter. I think I've already got that one. I need to get the next level of it though, so we need to get another four mammoths and we can get double XP. If we get another two lines, we're close to a few of these. We do need to keep a track on a few of these, so we're just looking for people and uh, rare little things to get. So, cave bear. I think we've already done the cave bear. We shouldn't need to do that again. Oh, if we get another, if we get another five though, happy times. Uh, I'll I'll set them to automatically hunt and see how many actually head out. I mean, it, it is winter, so we might be able to send a few out. Let's see. Now, if you're sending, yeah, you're you're just crazy. Why, why why would you go on your own against a cave bear? There we go. We're having three. Three of us are gonna go and try and hunt it. Now, where's it gone? The little beastie. There it is. Okay. Now, let's keep an eye on that one. Yes. No, 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 no. You're not hunting that on your own. That is just crazy talk. I mean, you can you can join in the hunt now if you want. There is four of us going after it. Might be a little bit too many, but hey. Here we go. We should get some meat off this. We should get four lots of meat from this. Okay, here we come. Let's go into Attenborough mode. And here we see the cave bear drinking at the water's edge, unbeknownst to him that the cavemen and women are coming to throw the sticks of doom. Here they come now with the sticks. Oh, how it hurts. Yeah, that's... Did you seem to run away? Rather a lot. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, you winged it. Nice. And we all fall down. Nice. That was a pretty uh, good hunt. Get some good meat off that. There we go. Take the meat on back. Right. What's the matter with... Oh, I see. You're just wandering around and you... So Wait a minute. You're complaining about the cold, but... You've got uh, the right clothes on. And it's not freezing. Zero Celsius. All right. You go in there. No. Maybe the old people are not as good... You know, a bit like me during winter... Don't fit, you know, feel the cold a lot worse than other people. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's the trader. Whoa, bit of intense trading there. He's just come down the side of the mountain. Wow. Okay. Now, um, I do think I might need to uh, do a few more fires up the top though. We've only got two fires at the moment, so we're going to see how we cope during summer. Now, we have got trading time now, so let's have a little look. Maybe I, what I should do is get rid of all my wooden spears and replace them with beautiful, beautiful flint ones. So, yeah, we've got a lot of wooden spears. Let's get rid of all of them. Let's let's forget about that, uh, that incident. And my wooden harpoon as well. Actually, wooden harpoons. 
I don't think wooden harpoons are going to hurt to keep those. Because we're just using them for um, fishing. So we've traded 13 value. What have you got? You've got some dried fish, some linen cloth. Some, ooh, that'd be good. Sickles. We might one for one. Do we need more than one? Um, what else have we got to trade? I've got a third. Uh, do you know what? Let's let's trade some food and let's get two of these uh, sickles. Or should we get a pig? Hmm. Let's get another sickle. Oh, that was a rookie mistake there. And you know what I did then? I've actually traded my stuff for his. I wanted to uh, grab a couple of these. Trade value 39. Okay, let's get rid of one. Trade value 23. Uh, we need to trade three more things then. Uh, let's give you some bread that's probably going to go off. There you go. Good trade. Right. It's going to be seed planting time soon. Okay, good citizens. Ooh, what what do we have here? We have a woolly rhino. And you know what woolly rhinos mean? They might mean an extra award for us. Let's have a little look at our little handy dandy chart here. So if we get one more woolly rhino, we will be blessed with the knowledge of the ancients. So yes, I'm going to send all them because we are really near. Here we go. Let's have a bit of a hunting party. Let's watch them. Come on, Furad. Adult female with massive spear. She She's another one that's seen things you wouldn't believe. Oh, look at Doggo there, just relaxing. Just chilling. It'd be good if you get the dogs to uh, aggressively defend the homeland. Do you know, against like uh, wolves and stuff like that. Okay. I'd also like it as well if these waited until you were like in strike position because she's gonna throw before these are even ready okay here we go it's always terrifying attacking these okay here we go that's one spear out oh that's multiple spears out oh 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 <laughs> you took you took the horn then nice we've got double uh knowledge though which is good which we like, uh, and that's where we're going to get that. There's a mammoth over there, but we don't really need that at the moment. Right, we've got to start planning our knowledge. So we do want to get fortifications, which means I have to come all the way down here. But next up, bows, archery. So if we get archery, we can then make some uh, bows and arrows, and we're going to add that as a production thing. And we're going to make me some of those. Uh, let, let me check the percentage of these. How many have we actually got this set to? We've got it set to 50%. 50% of the population. We'll give that a go. We don't really need bows for everyone just now. But they are going to be handy to make. But they do require a stick and a dry skin. So we might need to go hunting to get some more dry skins. We've got 20 at the moment. So... We are going to need some more. And some more skins. Okay. Let's have a quick little recce. See if there's anything foolishly near enough that I can hunt. So we're looking for mainly... I'm looking for donkeys. I'm looking for horses. I'm looking for those elusive wild boars. Uh, reindeer, are you still on my hunting list? Let's have a little look by pressing F8. So, um... Hmm, where are the reindeer? Where are the reindeers at? Okay, if we get five reindeers, we can get another bonus. Um, see, that's the trouble. We've not got a huge amount of people at the moment. Hmm. I am tempted. Uh, someone did... I can't remember your name, sorry. Um, Because I'm in the middle of recording, but someone had commented about my technique for hunting the rhinos, saying that... You're better off hunting the... Was it saying the, the young ones? You're best hunting them because then the rest of them um, like run away. Oh, 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 oh. Raider attack, raider attack. Okay. We've got two coming in. Oh, no, three coming in. Okay, let's sound the alarm. 
That's on pause. Okay. Everyone get back. Get a weapon. Are you seriously going to walk like that? Well, I guess you are. Can I get you to drop that? Or can I make you run, maybe? I think you're really old and infirm. There we go. Finally, you're running. You're abandoning the stuff. Okay, everyone should be coming back to base. Getting a weapon. Getting battle ready. How many bodies have we got? We've got a fair old amount. Whoa, 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 whoa. How have you managed to get into the, the base already? Okay, that's one down. Next up. That one, let's focus fire. Okay. Not the most exciting combat I've ever done. My camera angles are terrible. Well, interestingly enough, you are actually hunting with a bow then. Ah, uh, so we've lost a dog and we've also lost someone else from uh, the, the battle. Well, old age. That sucks. Do we get to keep their bow though? So, I think we do, you know. We've got one bow there, but is that from the battle or is that what we had already? Hmm, I don't know. I do know we need a big... Ooh, new, new human has joined. Just a single human? We want more humans. Right, what are we making at the moment? Bows and spears. Nice. Um, I'm surprised we don't have to do uh, graves in this game, which is a bit surprising. I thought you'd have to do like uh, mass graves for people. Ooh, acquired mud times 10. So we got some knowledge. Now I am wondering if... Another another one of those will be on the on the book soon. Right, we've got ten mud, so should I treat myself and start upgrading my storage huts? I think I will. We'll get this one upgraded. Okay, you're bringing your sled back with your stones. Survive the winter. Good. Okay. We are planting the fields. Let's have a little look at the uh, the workload. I really want to add the, the workload to um, like a task to it up up here because I can I can I can automatically see on it how busy we actually are. Okay. Now there's quite a lot of meals that need uh, bread that needs making, but I'm a bit worried about the bread because. It doesn't last a huge amount of time. So that's the flour, that's the bread. Now, interestingly enough, I'm not... Mm, I want to see some meat. So it'd be good if it gave you a time scale because although the um, the waste... Not the wastage, what's the, what's the attribute called for that? It's the, like, perishing. So if meat lasts longer, it might be wiser for the future to actually be getting more meat rather than relying on bread and stuff. Okay. Slowly building this. There we go. Looks like we've had to empty it out first. There's a lot of outfits in there. Hopefully someone's going to uh, build this up. There we go. Dropping supplies off. Still need two logs, one stick. Right, we need six muds and four straw. Okay, is the planting all finished now? One little bit left. That should be done soon. Nice. Hunted our first deer as well. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Another one's died. One joins, one leaves. Nice. We're getting all the uh, experience here. We can now get fortifications. Oh, yeah. So we're going to grab that. Now, can we build towers? We can. Right. So we are going to need... A fair old amount of straw, I think. So, Emma gives me uh, more grain. So, I know this is probably a bit crazy, but I am tempted to do barley. Not barley, sorry. Yeah, it's barley. 
tend to do a little bit of barley because I know we're going to get more straw from that. So let's just do, let's do a conservative. Let's just do six fields. Now, if I, look, if I remember rightly, this will give me more straw. And we want this planted as soon as possible. So I'm going to stick this on high priority. And somebody best come out and plant all of that. Come on. Where's my planters at? Come on. Oh, no, no. It's a, it's a child of lies. We've got the fortifications now, so we do need to... We're going to need wood as well. So we've got our wood set to 18 logs at the moment. Nice. Another little unlock there. There we go. We're getting some of that stuff planted now. Yes. This is what we want. Get that all planted. How are we doing for meat? Still, I think we're okay for food at the moment. Um, we're going to keep an eye on these, though. Because there's lots of little enemies coming near. We've got Ibex. As far as I'm aware, we've not hunted a huge amount of Ibex. And it's all about... It's all about the... Um, the, uh, the bonuses at the moment. So I'm going to tag three of those for hunting. And unpause it. Hopefully we're going to uh, get some of these hunted. Okay. Any any of you hunting Ibexes? No, you're getting a sledge. You're going after an Ibex. And I suspect you are as well. Yeah. Trouble is you're going to scare them all off as soon as you start hunting. Oh, one shot, one kill. Nice. Uh, can you get that one as well while you're here? Both of you. Is it in range? Let's quickly grab this one. Oh, that was like a that was like a predator heat-seeking missile then. Nice. We got the knowledge. We got a bonus for doing our first um, long-term structure as well, our first storage hut, which is good. Uh, we're up to five mud at the moment, so we do need to really get cracking with our mud, our mud collecting. We're still not really doing that that much. We're up to 26 people. And I think next we are going to go for an upgraded home. So we only need four mud for that. So let's get an upgraded tent, get that tagged. I'm going to come over here now. Let's check me, me uh, mud levels. So... We've got four people collecting mud, and they're collecting up to 50. So, there's still a lot of mud here. So, let us... Now, we can't alter the priority of this, which is a little bit annoying. So, are you collecting mud or water, child? What are you collecting? Water. So, who's actually collecting mud? Someone's got to be doing it. Is it you? What are you collecting? That looks like you're collecting water. Wow, you can collect more than one thing of water. I did not know that. Interesting. Okay, that's getting built. Uh, it's getting all knocked down and built back up. Nice. Now that's grown pretty quick. Okay, we've got ten bows. We've got, we got the knowledge. All right, about to take this down. What's the uh, what's on the production menu at the moment? Bows, bows and bow, bows and spears. Uh, my mud still isn't up enough. It is is it is up enough though to upgrade another hut though. So we're gonna tag that. And if I suddenly get another load of mud, then we're gonna do even more upgrading. Because we're actually at the... Well, we're at capacity of 24, population of 26. That's because we've disassembled one of these. Look at look at Doggo just chilling in the middle of this. Oh, that's, that's quite terrifying. Ah, oh, it's nice. I think that might make a nice nice screenshot for the, uh, for the, for the episode. Building the houses with Doggo. There we go. All right, speed this up a little bit. 
Now, hopefully it'll be, it'll be time to uh, harvest this soon. I believe this is harvestable in uh, fall. Let's double check. Yeah, fall. That house is coming on nice. Look at it. Nice. We've now got the capacity for 28. Now, we're going to also do a long-term task. I need wood. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be harvesting over... Well, I'm going to be coming over this way. Uh, we've got a work area to collect wild plants. So, we've got a few plants, but there is a few trees over here. So, do you know what I might do? I know this is a bit of a tedious way of doing it, but I'm going to actually just click on... Actually, we'll just... We'll click on the spruces. Because spruces are not something we can harvest anything from. But we can use the wood. So we'll leave first, which are those ones. But Spruce Springsteen, you are going to join the village. Pear Tree, we'll leave you. Robert the Spruce. I can't think of any more spruce related jokes. So we're going to leave that there. I need to spruce up my axe. Boom, one more. Okay, there's the little lonesome pine. Another spruce. Uh, I think that'll... Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Are you trying to avoid... Are you trying to avoid me? Okay, there you go. Right. Ooh, we can actually get chestnuts from that as well. Nice. Okay, how's the building coming? What are we What are we short of? Mud. Uh, yeah. I think I've uh, overestimated the amount of mud. Uh, I had six, and I thought the amount allocated was already included in that one, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's not. Okay. Who got mud? No one got mud. Right. Let's add five people then. Some of you have got to come here and get mud. I really want to hunt these, but yeah, I'm going to anger everything. So we'll leave them for now. Is anyone getting mud? I don't know if I, maybe I need to move the, uh, the, the work area a little bit. It says here there is mud though. 100%, 100% mud. Not just like 1% mud. There's 100% mud. Did you get any mud? No. You didn't even get any mud. Another one's died of old age. I bet that sullen... No, I thought that sullen child was getting mud. Right, trader. Should I trade some things and get some mud? Um, You're not even carrying mud. You've got another sickle, though. Um, I've got a feeling I've got too much meat at the moment. Let's get one of them. Trade a stack of uh, 10 meals. Bread seems to be running out really quickly. So, I sell all my bread. So, what have we got to play with now? Wow, three whole units. Maybe some flint knives because I'm a little bit too tight to buy them. Ooh. Yeah, let's not buy a stack of knives. Maybe just buy two. Right, we still need 46 value. Ooh, it's going to be tough. What can I get rid of? Wool cloth. We're not really using wool at the moment. We've not got the technology, so we'll sell that. And a few slings. Oh, one sling. There we go. So we are going to need uh, a little bit of uh, foodage. Is there anything near me I can eat? Wait a minute. What are you? What are you doing up there? Ooh. Another woolly rhino. Tempting. Why must you tempt me? Um, I'm pretty sure if we get one... Oh, we need to get five more rhinos. Yeah, let's forget about that. There's a reindeer over there, though. And there's some wild horses as well. Right, we're going to tag... We'll tag both of them. They're not as essentials, but it would be nice if we got them. Right. Harvesting. Um, it looks like we're harvesting this bit. Which is good. I think I might step back a bit on this uh, embankment because since that has come up, we seem to be struggling with the amount of spare people. So we're going to reduce that a little bit. Okay, lots of straw here. It's the, it's the bread where it's at though. Come on. How many people are in the fields? If you're not in the field, get in the field. They're, they're, they're busy making all the... Uh, the the, uh, the flower, though. 
At least. Come on. Where's my farmers at? You've got to be a farmer. What are you doing? Going to Rye. Oh, of course, yeah, we've got all this stuff that's like not right by the base. Well, you think it'd make more sense for them to come right outside the base? I would have thought that. Okay, I can see I can see at least one working in the field there. Right, let's set these as a priority then, because this needs to be done sooner rather than later. Because if we don't get this done in time, we're not going to get the uh, the bonuses from it. So hopefully some of these are going to uh, step to it. There's at least two in the field now. Three in the field. Okay, they're finally doing it. I mean, we have got uh, 15 sickles, so it's not like we've uh, we've not got the tools. It's just the actual the bodies, the people that we're short of at the moment. Okay, come on, a few more. We're still we're still, we're still got too much work going on. New humans join the settlement. Nice. We've now got 26 people. Child, carry. Okay, is there one person working on all of that? Come on, you can do it. Wow, you, have you just like sneaked out the cornfield then? I didn't even see you sneak out. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got five, is that all we've got? Five uh, flat, we've got quite a bit of the uh, the grain though. Should be able to make some good stuff from now. We didn't quite get it all. I think these are interfering with the plan these things here work area hmm I mean it wasn't specifically saying target the uh, the rider is it is including other things but yeah that was a bit unfortunate now we're coming up to 30 logs now so I think it is time to get the fire stoked and draw in the gates well, build the gate. So how do we want to do this? Now, hopefully I can build all by this water. Now, I'm thinking maybe I need to do a gate round the bottom so they can get in and out. So we might do that there. We're also gonna need all of this sealed up. Now, how, how this is gonna work with getting to the water and stuff, I don't know. But we're going to do a wooden wall. Ooh, this is going to be tight. This might not work. Um, okay. Now, if I can't do the wall further along here, I'm going to be in trouble. Let's see how near I can put this. Otherwise, this field is going to have to go. Let's try. Can I do the palisade at the front here? Um, oh, we can do it there. Oh, we should be okay. Right, so it's going to come all along here. It is going to come along here. And we're just going to build it up like that. I'm not expecting this to be done in a day or a season, so this is going to be a long-term goal for us. But it is something we need to get done. And then when the raid is next come, ho, 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 we will laugh. We will mock them as we fire our bows at them. Now we've made a nice amount of flour now. We've got uh, eight units of flour and we're still making more. Nice. Good job, people. We've actually got 28 loaves. So if you look, we've actually got enough bread now to feed everyone. And let's have a little look at the... Ooh, now look, the granary is full. So you know what that means? We need another granary. So let us get another granary. Um, have we got, before we go willy-nilly putting this down, yeah, we've got the second thing built there, so we should be able to uh, do this. I'm going to do it next to each, next to that one. Now, does that need mud? It doesn't need mud, luckily, which is good. 
So that will give us a lot more room to play with the resources. Okay, now get busy. Get busy building, all of you. We've got our gate. We need to do the rest of it. We also need our clothes sorting out. We've got 26 people. We have got enough. What clothes have you got at the moment? Leather. Go and get some leather. Go and get some woolly clothes on. There you go. Catch a chill dress like that this time of year. Well, interestingly enough, we're not. Um, we've used all our grain up now, so we've got enough to make another 12 loaves. We've not got any more um, skins left. Well, we've got three. But, ooh, oh, look at that as well. Wild horse as well. That's so tempting. I don't like letting the thing auto hunt. If you let it auto hunt a lot of the time, it seems to go completely wrong. I bet you're going for the horse, which is fine. But you've only got a sling. Let's see how you actually do a hunting with just a sling. Now, it worked for David and Goliath, but is it going to work for you? I mean, you look you look a bit like a, a, um, a really early Chuck Norris, so maybe this will work out for you. Here we go. And here we have Chuck Norris approaching the wild stallion. The wind is in his favour, and he's just chucked a big rock at it. <laughs> well, I've just lost all narrative there, and... Ooh! Look at that, though. A little bit of flint over there. A little bit of flint. We've got 32 flints at the moment, though, so we have got enough flints. Yeah, this... Uh, this does make me think I should put the uh, Benny Hill theme music on because that, that's quite clearly got away. Or he's given up. I think he's just given up. It, is, it has escaped. Now, one thing I haven't done which I, I saw someone else doing and thought that is pretty cool is you can build stuff on um on like high hills and stuff now how high can you build it and before i go building something in such a crazy place can i restrict so you can't restrict access for people to do stuff so if i go and put um like a spiritual post up here that will look quite epic. I'm going to put it up there just for the giggles, but I've got a feeling they might want to go and visit it and it might end up biting me. So we'll just see. We can always dismantle it if it ends up interfering too much. Right, the other food storage is getting built. Right, how is the work schedule on the minions? I mean, on the villagers. Um, and when will I learn to click on it? Right. We've got really high workload still at the moment, so I don't really want to alter the uh, mud collecting, but we've got five mud at the moment, and we've got capacity for 32 people. Do you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's see if we can upgrade the hut. See if we can upgrade a hut before winter comes. This is probably a terrible idea, building three things at once. We've nearly built the granary, though, to be fair. Nice, we have two granaries. Not got a lot of meat curing at the moment. Might need to remedy that soon. Okay, that's getting disassembled. How is this monstrosity of... Whoa! Have they already built it? Oh no, they're building it now. Oh, that is cool. That might make... Oh, look at that. Do you know I... Do you know, I took a screenshot before of a dog and that, and I was like, yeah, that is the screenshot. That is the thumbnail for the video. Um, I think that is better. That is, oh, I'm going to get the right angle now. Um, there we go. Thumbnail number two. Okay, there is actually a button, I think, that turns off the hood and that for doing screenshots. I do need to work out what that is. Um, right, how is the building coming on? Uh, there's some... Little little baby doggo. Look at little baby doggo. Did they actually give birth these aren't these dogs? I don't know if they do or not. Should call them Wolfo. Never mind doggo. Right. We've got a grand total of thirty-four logs, so we've magically managed to replenish these and build all that at the same time, which is excellent. That is getting built up still. We might get half of this wall done. Now we've got to decide where we put i i i feel i don't have to go for four gates or two so i could go for like a south gate 
a north gate, uh, maybe an east gate. It depends on where the enemies come from and where I need to come out from. Um, I think we're just going to do a north and a south gate. So let's do another gate. He sounded really pleased that I was building another gate then. Uh, we're going to do it near there. And... I want to leave a bit of a, a bit of grow room here as well. So I am going to build this a little bit further out than I would normally. So I reckon about there. I'm just going to sketch this out now. This will this will take a while to build. And if any of you think it's a terrible idea, let me know. Right, we're going to build to there. I think I'll keep the rocks inside the base and then we're gonna build over here let's see should we take it all the way over there and try and join up I don't think you can join up there right there and you need to no no no, no, no. not that not that we need to this one build uh, hopefully that's got... Mm, is that a join or not? I'm not convinced. Ooh, this is going to be a little tricky corner. I don't know if that's actually joining. We'll place... Oh, yeah, it's, it's snagged shut. Um, so we're going to... That's going to be three quarters complete. Then we'll just have to do the other side. Okay. Get building. We've got a lot to do. We've got eight points now. I don't think there's anything really I can get at the moment. There's, there's quite a lot of domesticated animals and stuff, but I think I need... I don't think we can build... We might be able to get stables if we build this. Then we can get goats and get milk. Ooh, or wells, maybe. Would a well... Oh, do we need a well for the base? Or even Neolithic. So many things that I want to get. Now, if we get the if we get weaving, we can do tanning, but we do, we still need to get the sheep. So maybe I should go for goat domestication. And get me some goats. So we want um, production. No residents, and we want a stable. Now stables are going to be fun to fit in this. Where can I fit a stable? We can move it around a little bit like this. There's a bit more room over here, isn't there? Let's do the stable over there at the heart of the village. Okay. Other gate's been done. Nice. Now, we'll have a quick little look and see if we can see any local animals we can actually... Uh... Oh, look at them. We've got, to, we've, got, we've, got to, we've got to watch this. Look. It's just a rhino going for a swim. Look. Look, it's just going for a swim. Swimming rhino. Oh dear, I think I've lost the plot. I think the winds has got to me. Uh, right, so we're looking for little cute little goaties. Oh, we've got piggies. I think that's been tagged already to hunt. Ooh, wolves. No baby wolves though. Um, mammoth over there. Is there no little cute little goats I can adopt and love forever? Can't see any. Boo. Okay, we're gonna carry on building anyway, because I and I, I know we're on we're on pretty much a hundred percent productivity at the moment. We're gonna try and get that house finished. Oh, we've finally got the ball up. We've got the knowledge from that. Goat domestication. Yeah, we do need we do need to get some goats. We need to get the stables built first though. So we'll try and do a bit at a time. Okay, what's my capacity up to now? 29. Have we got enough mud to upgrade another level? Um, nearly. We've got a lot of people busy doing tasks though, so I'm going to hold off uh, requesting them to do various bits and pieces just for now. I want to try and get this all done. Ooh, interesting. Look at this. Now, if you look at this, Mammoth's getting hunted, and it's getting hunted by a bear. So, my tactic for this now is... 
Oh, come on. Have I not got more people than that? I've got three people. Whoa, hang on. Wait a minute. Did I just let people... They weren't hunters, were they, those other ones? Right, we've got three people. Let's go after this bear. Simply because the mammoth uh, is wounded. Now, if I can get the mammoth, if I can get this bear, then it means I can then... That's going to be weaker. Okay. This is probably a really bad idea. Three against the bear. Oh, we, ma we managed to do it. Now, my idea was I was going to hunt that, but I'm, I'm going to hold off for now because if that hangs around, it's wounded. And it means that later on, it's going to have less uh, health. Oh, look at this. The uh, little baby bears are coming like, hey, where's my mama bear's gone over here? Wait a minute. Did you, did you just spawn in my base? I'm pretty sure you did. Okay. We are going to be busy. It is that busy time of year when we plant the crops. So there's not a lot we can do apart from just watch and grin and go, yeah, it's a little, too, bit, a little bit too busy. Okay. Haulers keep on hauling. It's important stuff. We might get some baby goats near us. In fact, there's one. Um, there, I believe that's another there. Now, is that a male and a female? If that is, that's perfect. I don't actually know if they breed or not, but we are going to take two. Ooh, hang on. Oh, no. We can only have two. Right. Get busy. Planting all these seeds. We've got the stables getting built as well. That needs finishing. We don't need the stables just yet, though. It's mainly essential in winter. But it's important we get all this stuff planted, though. So that's all that done. We've, apparently, we've managed to collect 100 wooden logs, would you believe it? And I think on that exciting note of I've got 100 wood and animal population is 10. We've got knowledge plus one. Excellent. That is it for now. So, yeah, the base is looking really good. And I am, I think the most thing I'm accomplished about is this. That, that, that is, it looks so good in the camera. Look, that is just, I can just pictures. Raid is coming over here. Raid is coming over here. And then in the middle, that's where we're all going to be starving and I'm going to be rage quitting. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Dawn the Man. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.